Let's continue Final Fantasy 16. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. We are now in the future with new Sid. Yeah, poor Sid. Otto will want to know what happened in Cosmos. I expect he'll be in the mess. Green tea with sugar? I don't put sugar in my tea. I got this, uh... Peppermint. Tea. It's not bad. Forgot what other... It's like... It's a herbal tea, so... It's not caffeinated or anything. It's from T2, so the stuff's it's good stuff. All operations are suspended into Ah, oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. And not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. Is there an if anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Is there anything new? Said the outlaw, leader of the faction believed responsible for the shattering of Drake's head in 873. With the single act of infamy, Sid's name quickly spread to the four corners of Alistair and Belong. Beyond. Chief Steward of Clive's Hideaway, Otto continues to serve the same role he did under Sid, being the primary person in charge of all the monies and information coming in and going out of the Hideaway. Wait. Stalassus's. Stalassus. <laughs> Al's capable of transmitting the thoughts of others, specifically those with whom they are attuned. In response to an ancient incantation, they Lithified third eyes store these thoughts in the form of ether, allowing them to be passed on as and when required, though only to the intended recipient. Salasses are mainly kept by royals, nobles, and other figures of authority for the purpose of sending secret or urgent messages and are seldom available to common folk. The incantation O Mia Lost Elan to Isaac Elith can be loosely translated as my will is now thy burden um ne'er cleft wait is it i'm sitting away from the screen it's cleft okay that the font <laughs> our bond shall be jeez it, it didn't have enough like spacing between the c and the l Established under the leadership of Clive's Ro Clive Rosfield, who took the title of Sid after his former leader's passing and Titan's destruction of the old hideaway. Here a community of like-minded individuals from across the realm has gathered to build a place where people can live and die on their own terms. Like its predecessor, it is built within fallen ruins deep within the dead lands of Central Storm. Decidedly unlike its predecessor, however, it is located in the center of a lake, Benamir, across whose waters any invading enemy can easily be spotted long before their arrival. Okay. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Finished sorting those reports yet? I'm finished. I ain't started. <laughs> I never did those side quests before we came to this. It's okay. I mean, they seem very minor. Back from your mission? 
I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Oh damn, the map is bigger. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambrekwa boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? This is very Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Yeah, once again, just the look of this. Oh, this guy. <laughs> the the five. Uh, I don't even know what you call those. In fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ultimate beard fashion. Ready. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books. Faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, 
I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. <laughs> just we all know there's no... Everyone is just extremely British. <laughs> The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. I mean, this looks nicer than the previous hideout. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. The facial hair covers it pretty well. And then you get some rest. Could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? Have you been to the toll? I hear a new ship. Missives. The reading table. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hallway. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> the Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I see you're done to wear upon my return. I'll see you- I'll see- wait. I'll see you done to wear upon my return. Jeez. <laughs> what does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain 
war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. I am right. <laughs> like... I bet his thing, I mean, because he's the phoenix, obviously. Like, he has actually died. But he comes back. Because he's a phoenix. I heard him call out. To Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Mother Crystals. To sit. Wait, really? Say <laughs> yes. He survived the... How? They never explain how he survives every time. Again. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... Yeah, I mean, okay, he's the phoenix, I get it. Like, he probably dies and then just comes back, and that's all there is to it. It is only a matter of time before... It's definitely... It definitely involves magic. Not sure who who his travel companion is yet though. It's ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Okay, hold on. Attend, yeah, it's like just attend. Not hasn't got a name. Companion and protector of Joshua Rosfield, dominant of the Phoenix, as loyal as she is dangerous, her blade is ever at the ready for any who might mean her master ill. And her tonic's ever at hand to heal the sickly prince's hurts. Joshua addresses her by the name Jote, but it is unclear whether this is her true name or another pseudonym. Ooh, ominous. Dominant of the Phoenix and former heir to the Ducal throne, uh, Joshua was thought to have died at the hands of the second Icon of Fire during the disaster at Phoenix Gate. However, he somehow survived. Appearing before his brother once more some 13 years later in the inner sanctum of Drake's head and saving Clive from Ultima's advances by calling upon the power of the Phoenix to seal the being within himself. An otherworldly being that Clive encountered in the inner sanctum of Drake's head, he addressed Clive as Mytho Mythos before attempting to merge their consciousness. However, Clive was able to summon the will to resist the creature before Joshua returned from the dead to imprison it in a cage of flame that he sealed away in his own heart. Um, the Northern Territory is a bitterly cold corner of Storm's most northerly reaches, the loose collections of nations that sprang up around the region's erstwhile Christ Mother Crystal, Drake's Eye, were united and pacified by Archduke Elwyn, Rosfield of Rosaria in the year 854. However, in the years following Rosaria's annexation by the Empire, a combination of both the Blight's inexorable advance and Sandbrek's lack of interest in the territories has only worked to quicken the area's destabilization. And Ether, the life force of the land and the scourge of all magic. The amount of Ether 
a spell consumes depends on its strength, with those manifesting more potent forces over a wider area coming at a greater cost. Larger crystals can channel more ether than smaller ones, and thus can be used to cast more powerful magics. Once, a one might use a small ration shard to grill a fish, but would require a large municipal crystal to fire a blacksmith forge. Tell me, brother. Are our efforts in vain? Why don't you interact with your brother, man? <laughs> like... All this mystery as to why he just doesn't go say hi. Master Clive, a moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. I desperately want this guy to say water. Water? That's how it's gonna come out. If he ever says the word, it'll be like that. <laughs> hey, Clive, you want a bit of water? Arthur, leave the rest. You must be thirsty, lad. Where is... what? <laughs> okay, I'm not losing my mind. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip Ran the duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Okay. Apparently there's a side quest at the door. Nah, I'm good. If they gave more XP and better rewards, I would be more inclined. They seem to be very, very minor in structure. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. This town just can't catch a break. It's like what the third time it's been raided. I'm sorry. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You uh could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. 
Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Okay. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. I saw if Mom was involved. <laughs> I honestly thought we were going to go on a rampage and go say hi, but... Like, she seems to uh, just exist at this point. Quick. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Zombies? Then... <laughs> they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. Hang on, what's a curse breaker? They don't ex oh, here we go. A unit drawn from those of fighting age and martial training among the residents of the hideaway who conduct operations to liberate bearers from slavery. Beginning as a loose collection of like-minded individuals in Sid's hideaway, who chose to rid themselves of their bearer brands that they might serve the cause out in the field. The order has greatly expanded both its ranks and operations since the move to Benimuel. Under okay, right, that's got it. Um I mean I don't think second in command alright, that's fine. I think so. Thank you, Clive. I know who that guy is. Second in command of that group. Is there anything new on Martha? Um, a friend of Sid's cause. Yeah, it's the same as before, more or less. A church of humble stone buildings perched above Sorrowwise Bay in the imperial province of Rosaria's southeastern lowlands. The abbey was built in order to propagate the Grigorian faith uh, after the Duchy of Rosaria was made part of the Holy Empire of Sandbrek, and as such, is one of the rare examples of Imperial architecture in its region. Alright. Black Shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one number of shields in this area, and they fought to defend... Thunder! It seems a step too far. <laughs> Finished. I still think the fire abilities are better. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. The hell? No. 
damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. Oh, shit. For their crimes shall they be punished. <laughs> Such is the law. I mean, okay, I, I, I get it. That's just funny because it's, it's just... This is how they explain tougher enemies. It's like, oh no, now their armor is darker. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Go, doggo, go. I mean, okay, they are cool. Like, that remote strike ability is nice. It's over. Is that all of them? I think so. <laughs> I feel like that's I feel like that screen could have been combined with the previous screen. I don't know. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Okay. This is just gonna go down the route of zombies. They've turned. That those were the words. Thunder. The abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only. That were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha. To beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I. I shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? <laughs> Not a survivor anymore. He's gone. Jeez. <sighs> We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bears... They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds. 
threw themselves at the Imperial so she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearer's remains. We should consign them to the tide. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. The not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the Abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. I was like, what's with the big sack? Well, now I know. Just leave me be, spiders. Oh, hello. It's amazing just how something like that just determines whether or not people think a game is amazing. It's just very little thing. I think the best the best is in Ghost of Tsushima, how you pet the fox. What on earth is that thing? Huh? It just has a bounty on it. Notorious marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. Fighting... Flight is always an option. Defeating these marks can earn renown, but also rare materials. Okay. Do you think it's spotted us, Torgo? What am I saying? Of course it has. There's a frozen eyeball. It looks like, uh, I forgot the name of that series, but it was like in that era where everyone was trying to make their own Pokemon. It wasn't Digimon, oh, what was it called? I think it was called Monster Rancher. Did it just one-shot me? What? <laughs> just one-shot? What do you mean, one-shot? I had full health. We're not to move. That was like a rank C. You remember Monster Rancher? Yeah. It's a, it looks like something out of Monster Rancher. That game was cool. The TV show was alright as well. But like you would put in PlayStation discs and then you would get a different monster. That was unbelievable. I can't believe it did that much damage. It's probably my bad for not running away from that, but I thought, no, nah, how much damage could that possibly do? Just everyone had to have, like, something like Pokemon. The whole idea of summoning creatures. You put notes on all the DVDs saying what monsters you got from there. Oh. Yeah. They... Apparently, they, I think they remade the game, and... You can play it again, but I think the way it works now... Is different, because you can't do discs. I forgot what it uses, but... They, they re-released it. Oh no, I am on the... See, this is why this map is deceiving. Ugh. 
I'm on the wrong side for this. The thing that was funny about that game was just <laughs> sometimes just the circumstances of your monster not surviving, uh, it just it sucked, but it was funny. Crap, that thing is guarding. That thing is guarding the, uh... The place that I need to get to. <laughs> it's not good. Alright, well now I know that, like, that thing... ...does ridiculous damage, just be careful. I am Thunder! Can I... can I avoid it? It's optional content. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm not having that thing one-shot me again. Truly free. I hope so. How does she get past the monster? It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. <laughs> the answer is always magic, huh? Let's see if we can fight it as a team. Hold it! Jeez. Oh, it's about to do it again. I'm gonna just, like, choose to not be anywhere near some of its attacks. I've, le I've learned my lesson. Hey, it ran! What? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, Doom's like that big attack that it's gonna do. There we go. Okay, I got it. I 
There we go. There we go. Get it. Oh crap, it's doomed. Okay, move, 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 move. Again. <laughs> what a what a move. Just instantly killed the player. That's, that's great. There we go. Okay, yeah, the experience is... Yeah, that was worth. You didn't see that coming. Wait. <laughs> Should have gone into camera mode and taking a picture of it. Well, I mean, now this reminds me of Final Fantasy 13. Those enemies that were roaming that you'd walk up to and you'd be like, oh yeah, I could take that. And then the thing just one shots you. <laughs> Thank you, founder. Oh my god, that cactus. Oh, I just remembered about the cactus enemy. Jeez. It's like, oh, this looks harmless. Nope. <laughs> yep, just avoid that thing. Cactua. Challenge the player. I don't think Cactor is like challenge the player. It's just like, haha, the joke is you can't beat this thing. No one survived then. I can't remember how many times I went back to it and just did not win. One of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you, but it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. Oh, ha 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 And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and throw Man. my people, they're in for a rude awakening. I wonder if there's going to be a showdown with Mom. Before I forget, a stone or like some form of hand. ultimate comeuppance for her. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. 
No She's need. been, uh, be yeah. The Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. Just pretty much since the moment, the moment that character got introduced, you just want to hate her. I haven't seen anything that humanizes her, really. Like, at least with Backstabia, there was a humanizing aspect. She had her moment of character development. Where's Gav? I hear there's trouble. Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scam! <laughs> He's still rocking the triple ponytail. What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you... What, what's the drink you just gave me, dude? What drink did you just give me? Beer! Or water! So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Time to blow up another one. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kuku would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port is older who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Uncle? Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. <laughs> My uncle's name gave him his start. Well done. It was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Astute observation. I see, this is why you have a seat at the table. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh?
Auto's counter is now open. Okay. What are we waiting for indeed? Speak with Gav. Where is Gav? Oh, I'm not even here. Alright. Oh, crap. Because <laughs> I was playing the switch, I pressed circle. Why can't we agree on just, like... This particular button here will always be confirmed, and this one will be cancel. Doesn't matter what you call the button, just agree. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Koopka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. No, oh, yeah, right. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. She hasn't. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Fair enough. We will face it together then. To the end. Bloodlines. Dominant of Shiva and trusted confidence of Clive, leader of the New Hideaway. Together they continue Sid's mission to emancipate bearers and rid the realm of Mother Crystals. That's the update on her. The Seven High Houses, the highest noble houses of old Rosaria. Of which House Rosfield is the first and foremost. They have their roots in the ruling dynasties of the small independent nations that were united upon the founding of the duchy. The houses had a prominent voice in Jusil politics, but this was silence when the region fell to the Empire, and Empress Annabella took Rosaria's reins. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Craig Lois. No, uh, Craig, I forgot how they pronounced it. <laughs> um, the Mother Crystal Drake's Breath rises from a volcanic island situated just within its borders and is worshipped as a god, just as the state religion the Crystalline Orthodox dictates. This same religion decrees the use of magic to be anath anathema, and the bearers and dominance use it to be sinful aberrations, leading to even greater discrimination than that they suffered by their brethren on the mainland. Given their stated desire to control all the mothers, the Ironblood's attitude to other nations is one of indel indelible antagonism. Um, I feel like this is just going to repeat stuff. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. Jeez, I wonder what his mother does, like, to just have that sort of reach and influence. And hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Like, she just... As, as a person on first impression and everything, she just seems annoying. 
I guess maybe there are people that just think that way in this world. Probably just rich people. Very snooty, yeah. I mean, the fact that, you know, Look. she truly believes in the pure bloodline thing. It's just like, hmm, you are aware of, like, what's required to uh, make that work, right? It's like, you know, the genetics pool is, uh, is not a big pool. <laughs> when you do that sort of shit. For the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. And even then, lots of birth defects in the later generations. Pretty much, yeah. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. I can't remember if they mentioned to what, like, extent... Clive's dad and uh, his mum were cousins, like if it was first cousins or second cousins. I don't think they elaborated on that. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. Yeah, I don't think they said it. But I mean, already it's just big ick. It's just nope. Closed our gates to all but the Highborn, and now a great camp sprung up along the walls. What did those knights want, Father? Because I took too long. Along now, before one of the boys starts thinking. We're going hunting for outlaws. There was a time my husband might have stood up to those men. What? Who doesn't want me to talk to? I've walked around, I mean, that's just a merchant, I don't think it counts. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ah, yes, the classic Shield. character youth. I'm sorry. The Black Shield. John Youth. Just now. You've seen them, didn't you? At least I think they was a Black Shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. <laughs> if only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? <laughs> we couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. Uh-oh. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? 
I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. <laughs> Obedience bought with fear. Oh, man. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's, it's, it's honestly a miracle that he's like, oh... Uh... ...shields are looking for. I mean, okay, he's, he's a little bit... A little bit quiet and reserved now, but like, it's honestly a miracle he's not more crazy. Who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Right, have you consider what's happened to a man? And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Ever since the Apollo trip, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waiting there? He's gone through a lot. Yeah, I mean, even if he didn't go through what he went through, just the fact just how his mother is, like, that's... That's something that, uh, yeah, doesn't leave you in a good position as an adult. Same as if, like, you have a father who's just a piece of shit. But this is, like, to an extreme. Like, I bet mom didn't like Doggo either. You know? Like, it'd be that situation that just because the dog brought him happiness, <laughs> she'd probably hate the dog as well. That ability is pretty cool. I'm just worried that this is gonna go in a direction where Clive ends up with all the elemental powers, which includes Jill's. It's just... Here's the thing. The way this is the way this is laid out, it's like there's at least two more. For the sake of symmetry, like it, they wouldn't just. I guess I could keep it like this, and it, it'd be fine. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah. It's like there's either two more, or there's three more.
Not enough. I will upgrade that one. That one's a good finisher. Just, it doesn't it doesn't bode well because here's the thing and still wet. the only two we're aware of is like jill's power and uh you know big big thanos power so it's like earth and uh and ice we haven't seen another one stay in your homes <laughs> so it's like mm. i mean i assume we're gonna get earth you know who we are and still you would bear your steel because the only other one we have is like brother, but brother is fire as well, so it's of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. Unless we see another icon, um yeah. Swords we swear. It doesn't bode well for Jill. Say that again. I'll show you a truth. But I mean, given the dark turn of this game, like, it wouldn't surprise me if he just ends up losing everyone, ultimately. You would be surprised, really? I think if the tone of the game wasn't what it was from the start, I would agree. I would be surprised, but... It's just, this has been very, very dark. I wouldn't be surprised, gotcha. Yeah. Because it's one of those things, like, you know, you want to ship the two together. And maybe just to make it sad, it's just a thing where they just never will be. Because I kind of had a little moment. Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> they await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. All right. Oh, that's it is. It's old, like A-U-L-D-H-Y-L. -L. I thought it was like, you know, old hill. Like O-L-D-H-I-L-L. -L. <laughs> oh, English. Find something, boy. Jeez. <laughs> the 
This was my mother's doing. Yeah. But why? Why would anyone? I mean, was his mother here or did his mother order it? I never truly understood her. But this. Oh, Clive. Drives her, and I will end it. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south. They may already be in Port Isolde. We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. This is their home. I mean, how much longer <laughs> before there's a clash? It's been what? I mean, okay, I would assume the treatment started like. Because, you know, we, we, sh we started this game when he was 15, right? But I assume she was treating him like shit well before that, so it's just... I mean, he, he's in his 30s now. <laughs> it's just... Man. She's gonna look completely different. I mean, that's the thing. You know, she'd be much older now. Uncle's even gonna be alive. That's already, uh. Probably some foreshadowing. the main gate and it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in Can't ignore us forever! Oh, 
We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built, so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. Okay. The good news is it's probably not abandoned. Black Shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. It's luster. Hmm. Not abandoned then. <laughs> I was about to say not abandoned, it is. Show ourselves out. Uh oh. Why not? Cast the first. Bastard. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Friend. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Found oh. It really is you. Was it him? Yeah, Wade. <laughs> Smooth skin. Baby face wide. Huh. 
now he's looking like a soldier. We can speak inside. That's better. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. <laughs> and we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But... We've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. <laughs> that spelling. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense. I mean, Even knowing what I know about her, <sighs> he still acknowledges her as his mother. Hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense. I feel like at a certain point you gotta let that In go. You haven't noticed the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Anyway. <laughs> Former Duchess of Rosaria, now Empress of the Holy Empire Sandbrick, it was... Ever her purpose in life to preserve the phoenix bearing bloodline, for which reason she betrayed her husband that she might center in league with a force she judged the mightier. Now she rules over Rosaria as viceroy of the Imperial Province, which she rules with cruelty and contempt for the base born that was unknown in Archduke Elwyn's day. So wait, a loyal shield of Rosaria, though. He was thought to have died during the attack on Phoenix Gate. He somehow survived not only the disaster, but the Imperial conquest that followed. He and other like-minded shields took up residence in the abandoned Lazarus and formed the Guardians of the Flame. Brothers in arms who fight for the restoration of the Duchy. The Black Shields. An order of knights instituted by Empress Annabella in one of her first acts as Viceroy of the Imperial Province of Rosaria. While they most often march in small groups, their main host has been known to rally together to conduct large-scale raids. They are tasked with purging the impurities from the province, to which end they conduct callings of both bearers and those judged to be Jusil loyalists. After being made viceroy of the newly annexed Rosarian territory, the Empress Annabella quickly established a host of loyal imperial soldiers, the Black Shields, to maintain order. Though branded as keepers of the peace, their true purpose is to carry out what has come to be known as cullings, or brutal massacres of provincial bearers, and those who show them sympathy. The killing is swift and indiscriminate, with the shields dispatching dispatch served as judge, jury, and executioner, and the chaos left in their wake is usually enough to deliver entire settlements to ruin. Yours. And ours. 
We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements. I mean, he still has a pretty clean face, but it's just like... Hidden throughout the surrounding hills. Uh, this is what he should have looked like, I don't know. ...without fear of being overwhelmed. What? How long has it been? It's like 17 years ago, I guess. To fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough. Now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. At least now he looks like he's seen battles. Yeah. That's the true. From all dead have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. They look that pose they do, they look like they're about to churn butter. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Wade. <laughs> I mean I get it. They're supposed to be holding something, like a there weapon. One thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the black shields. And so we shall. Throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Okay. May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. I look at that thing in the distance and it just looks like a cell phone tower. <laughs> I've seen it a couple times, and that's all I can think of. Come along now. The bastards are lucky on it. There they are. Getting some excellent reception here. What is it now? I told you! We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! <laughs> you presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Die along with your flame! They underestimate the dog, that's the first mistake. Your petty revolution ends here. <laughs> the dog. On these uh. we swear. That attack is so good. Reinforcement from the far bank! 
Oops. That was a slow reaction on my part. I thought that uppercut was going to launch him as well. Damn it. It's going to charge an attack. Oh boy. Albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point. That this land is in dire need of cleansing. Well done, Togo. Damn it, that's annoying. It jumped out of the light. Okay. Well, yeah, it's gonna waste some of my time. Ah, it's so annoying. Double jump, really? <laughs> and that jump attack is so annoying. It's not that it's hard to avoid, it just wastes my time. see any more <sighs> nor do I the plan worked it did it bloody worked we sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud my uh lord perhaps this will be enough to stop the cullings for the time being at least perhaps though I doubt my mother will take this loss well She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So I die. Think we should fall back to Port Azolder before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. That's what that's what I totally said, yeah. I'm surprised I haven't crossed over to her just to show her pissed. <laughs> I 
And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need... I know. Go on now, my lord. I don't think we'd run into him again. Are we finally going to see her? No. It's uncle. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. Right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Oh, those footsteps. <laughs> Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! Just do the fire thing, dude, with your hand. What's he doing? Oh. You would mock me as well? It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. What's he doing? Curse the infectious flax wench. Even in death, must thou play oh, me still? Oh, a play. Oh, they're doing a play, I guess. Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, 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 Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> you always 
is well fond of that scene from the saint of the sanctuary. Okay, I mean that's a good that's a good way to do it. It's just like Stealth just could have just, you know, done the fire thing with his hand. <laughs> Inform the kitchens! There'll be guests! We die in immediately! But uncle. You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I get the feeling it's not going to end well for Uncle. I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. Like, this is too happy of a moment that it's not going to go sour. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Alright, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This dude's giving me like John Cleese vibes. <laughs> Just a little bit. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. <laughs> okay, hold on. Something on your mind. There we go. It's plugged in. Monsters. Now the word monster. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. When 
so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Yeah. I mean, this is one of those things, it's just like, she had a conscience, basically. It was a situation where it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. It's like... To live on my own terms. It was a constant trolley problem. It's like, oh, go murder ten people, or we're gonna murder these hundred people. You know, it's like and when you chose the path that harmed the least people. Doesn't make her a monster. You stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. You would like to be frozen and only be awakened when there are wireless charging cables available. <laughs> die with it. Yeah. Well, that's... Hello, Messiah. Got like... No. Got Messiah. Let's get some sleep. The journey back what's a, the can I ask, what's a wireless charging cable? If it's wireless, doesn't then doesn't that mean there's no cable? <laughs> I'm just teasing. It's okay. I mean, man, if you if you believe like the fantasy of Tesla with wireless power, like that that shit's a, a bit of a rabbit hole. But like, there was always this. This legend that Nikola Tesla was going to come up with wireless power. And then they, uh, they shut him down. It's been a plot in a lot of fantasy stories involving him, but there was, like, some foundation of it. Knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. You believe in science slash magic? Oh no, I'm sure science will get there someday. You having problems with charging stuff? She's taken quite a liking to Lady Karen. He's not a monster. Deadlands wouldn't be half as bad without all the bloody dust. Every day it's annoying. Oh, like, just things don't last as long, or just cables being dodgy. <laughs> I was looking in the wrong spot. Typical nobles. Cowering behind their walls. It's a nice view. Again, Lord Rosfield. 
I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, <sighs> ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. Fine charging, yeah. Setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. I mean, if it's not holding charge, it's just probably. I mean, how old is the phone? There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian. Had or just too many things to charge. Okay, that makes sense. Everything has a battery. Made their move. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of. Do you want better? I have like. So many different controllers I gotta charge. I got the PlayStation controller, the Switch controller, the Super Nintendo controller, the Wii U controller. All kind of on my desk. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the Orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred. And they do not take kindly headphones that I'm wearing. Objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous. The 3DS for when I'm playing Animal Crossing. The faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven. They need a multi-charging port. Well, I mean, Apple tried to make a induction charger that was like a, a mat so you could put multiple devices on it and it just charges wirelessly but they just couldn't get it correct so they never released it but something like that would be useful like a large charging mat because i have like a wireless charger for uh for my phone and i just place it you know my phone on top of it and it charges it's great if that works for everything, it'd be fantastic. Rosaria, try to reclaim it. So I'm sure we'll get there one day, where you just place stuff on a surface and it'll just charge. Set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship. I'll probably be a very, very old man by then, but you know. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil, when next they spy an opportunity. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate. <laughs> Old but gold. I like that. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital. Killed the men. And captured the women. Including Jill. I, I mean, I'm already at a point where, like, a I'm considered old. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Then... Thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. <laughs> We're seasoned. We're classic, that's what we are. It's all about perspective. No, I know, like, it's just attitude. It doesn't bother me when people say that at all. Are you ready? I think so. Jill. I constantly get told to to just people are surprised when they hear how old I am. It's just, oh, you have the energy of a much younger person. Or the way I talk, I guess, is no. of someone much younger. My voice hasn't hit that point where it started to... Go raspy like an old person. Crystalline Orthodox. The man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need... I mean, you can have someone in their 40s behaving like a teenager. 
and I know that I can do it. So it's just you like it can. <laughs> There's different perspectives to it, you know. And I'll be beside you too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. I know people we'll like that, but it's, they just. We'll make him proud. They act like they're in high school, which don't want that. <laughs> Being a youngling and shitting your pants doesn't sound fun. Well, that's too young. You want to be at a point where you don't do that. And you don't want to be too old where you also do that either. Well, I think I'm at a, at a good middle ground at the moment. When is the golden age? I think, like, anything, uh, this, this might come as, like, a hot take, but, like, I found that there was less drama in my life around 28. That's when I found that the people that I hung around... It fell into two categories. It kind of fell into a category of like they grew up enough, to the seas. or they didn't grow up enough. It's like under the age of twenty-five is just sometimes you know you will do dumb things, and you might be emotionally immature, so to speak. But of course, you can be emotionally mature and be in your twenties. It's just in general, I found that what under the age, yeah, under the age of 25, that's when, like, Boy. things were still complicated and annoying. It's different for everyone, I guess. Kingdom's Mother Crystal. Drake's breath. God damn. I was expecting this to look a little more uh, lively. This is. This almost seems like ancient. Strong currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. This island is a natural fortress. But safety breeds complacency, allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. <laughs> oh no. It's named after them, the chapter. When I came here, it would be to reclaim it. It used to belong to Rizarian. Look at look at this. Once, though it's been in the island. Man, these views. As was I. For thirteen years this rock was my home. I know its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it. The perfect little shortcut. Yeah, I think most people when they're all the They try to guess how old I am, most say like mid to late twenties. That's like the guess every time. I've, I've never I've never really asked why <laughs> they come to that number. 65? Ah, you got me. Was that an earthquake? 
happen it's kind of the opposite of what I used to get. I used to get people thinking that I was a lot older than what I was. Like, when I was a teenager and in my early 20s, I was like, oh, dude, I thought you were older. Probably because of just the way I, I behaved, I guess. Well, that is a big-ass club. I mean... Sometimes I feel like I am 65. <laughs> it's just, particularly in, in the case of like when people try to get me to use like something like TikTok or something overtly social media and just my reasoning of not wanting to use it. It's like, oh no, yeah, I, I'm an old man. I've been an old man since like I was 18 on that one. It's not that I don't get TikTok, it's just like, it's not for me. <laughs> just, none of that social media stuff has ever been for me. I have a TikTok though. I do because of streaming purposes, but I don't have a personal one, that's the difference. It's like, my TikTok is... 99% just clips from Twitch. It's not me going on as a person and trying to like... do the sort of things that people do on TikTok. I don't use it the same way. Like, yeah, it's not me the person that's on TikTok, it's the stream that's on TikTok, if that makes sense. Like, you're not going to see a slice of my life on TikTok. Hi, <laughs> TikTok. I have yet to see someone say, Oh yeah, I found you on TikTok and I'm coming to check out your stream. Like, it just, it just doesn't happen. I've had it happen from YouTube. Did follow on TikTok. Thank you. It brings me one step closer to maybe be able to try live content on there. But I don't know if I will. If I had more time, I would do more with the TikTok stuff. The problem is I, I need to edit content and it's just... Between streaming, full-time work, and then trying to have life, I guess. It's just... Not enough time in a day. Live barbecue on TikTok. I, I can't do that. I have no room. No, oh, it's like apartment is tiny. And, I mean, me as a person, I'm just not an IRL streamer. The only IRL thing I did once was open Pokemon cards, and but that like was very dodgy the way I had to do it, and I wasn't happy with the quality of the video, and it was the best I could do given the space I have here. And that just led to like, just... Oh man. I, I forgot who said it, but like... Someone said I had nice hands, and then it just became a thing for a while, or it was just like... 
people wanted to see my hands, so... Whether being legitimate or not legitimate, uh, I, I don't know. But I was like, okay, you know what? I think I'm good on, on, uh, I'm doing IRL stuff. Oh, this thing. Cut to the point where people are sharing pictures of their hands on this car. Oh, man. Oh, no. Potion, please. Thank you. Extra money, I can be a hand model. No! I most definitely can't be at the moment. Over here. Go, go. I mean, the talking... I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to judge my own hands. Like, it's just like, they're not... It's not like they've never seen a day's work and they're pristine. It's just like... I never really asked for an elaboration on why they thought it was nice. Maybe size, maybe... I, I don't know. I don't know what qualifies as nice hands for someone. People pay money for feet pictures. Yeah, and that's kind of the part that was just like, hmm. Press on. I'm good. That's uh, weird, but true. Yeah. Well, it, look. <sighs> the internet is a wild place, and I mean, even before then, it's just people have fetishes, man. It's just, it's just how it is. <laughs> and fate be one of them. Like I don't know how to explain it, but. We're inside the volcano. You get used to the heat, though. I don't remember it being like this. Whatever floats your boat. Was that one cause for concern? It was. And they're getting bigger. Something's wrong. No foot fetish for me. I'm gonna take a hard pass on, on that sort of stuff. It's not for me. But you know, whatever floats your boat. The new trend right now is people pretending to be an AI. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. Holy crap. 
crap, how many attacks does this thing want? Talking like a robot. I mean, there's probably like some fantasy about that. It's still, it's not a robot robot. I'm sure it's like a humanoid robot, you know? And some people might find that appealing because there's stuff like, look at how, for example, Cortana is depicted in Halo, you know? Like maybe people find that appealing. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's the dressing up part that uh that is the thing that would do it for someone, not necessarily the act of acting like AI. I think the dressing up has something to do with us. Just the science fiction aspect, you know? Sci-fi fetishes be freaky, yo. Wait, what? What's she doing? This is... Oh, she's... I don't think we've ever seen her use ice like this up close. Catcher doing ever good for them, making money. Yeah, I mean, hey, I don't, I don't judge in that way. It's just you do you. Let's not do that again. I'm gonna keep doing me. I can't believe there's an enemy called just bomb. <laughs> Wonder what that enemy does. Even I don't want, I don't even want to look up like that stuff out of curiosity because then it just enters this thing in the algorithm. It's like, oh no, you like that sort of stuff. Now we're gonna present you with it. It's like uh uh. Not looking at not looking at it, not even out of morbid curiosity. Red oh red moose. I thought it said mouse. <laughs> it's like that's not a mouse, it's moose. There's two S's. Oh, shit. Didn't look it up, it's all over your For You page. Yeah, I mean, at some point the algorithm decided, yes, this is For You. Not sure what would have, uh, I guess maybe just... I don't know how that would even come to be. Sometimes that stuff just doesn't make sense, because I'll tell you right now, like, I don't use Twitter at all. But the times that I did trying to announce stream stuff on there, for some reason it kept showing me stuff from Formula One racing. I have never in my life... Okay, not even watched it, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm just not into that stuff, and yet it just... My feed was basically that. 
for some reason. I guess because I didn't look at stuff and it couldn't figure out what I liked, so it just defaulted to... Oh yeah, no, let's show him Formula 1. Racing cars, yeah, yeah. It's this thing again, but it's like. But they never leave the lava. If I didn't know better. Enemy recycling. <laughs> we fought this thing at the start. Why attack us? Time to prepare food. All right, Messiah. Have fun. Thanks for popping in. Try not to let the uh, the charging get to you. This one has more advanced moves than the first one. <laughs> it rolls over. It's still got the Sonic the Hedgehog style moves. There we go. What's it doing? Nothing good. Overdrive. I got it. I've been watching more One Piece, and I'm up to a part of like one of the characters. <laughs> it makes me it makes me laugh sometimes that it's just like he has an attack called Shambles, and it's great. It's a disruption ability. Also, just the character is very, very, uh, like dry, I guess, is the best way to describe him. When does One Piece go good? It depends on your personal taste. Some people don't like shonen style animation, the whole, like, protagonist thing. But for me, uh, I had to get past the first. Arc, more or less. I think when it started getting good was, um, for me, was when he had to go, f like, rescue his one of his friends for the first time. Just hot. That's when it kind of went beyond like a Saturday morning cartoon type style. Friend, mate. Let's hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chamber. So that that's when it, it got me. I was like, all right, yeah, I can see this. For the sanctuary. I need to finish this before the heat finishes me. Yeah, yeah. But it could be a case that it's, you just never go. In. How many episodes? Pfft, I don't remember. But it's like one of the earliest arcs. Like. Always a hive of activity. <sighs> um, I'll find out. We won't have to. There's someone there I should very much like to see. Uh, apparently episode 31 is like when that arc starts, so. Because the first, I don't know, dozen or so, it's kind of just establishing the world, and it feels very Saturday morning cartoon. Um, but then, you know, he gets his crew together, and 
there's there's a point in which he has to go help one of them with their past. And then it becomes this thing where, like, they have to all address their past, and they're all, they all have, like, some sort of circumstance. And I guess the whole thing is just, like, you could have very negative circumstances, but as long as you surround yourself with people that care about you, then the past doesn't matter, more or less. That's what it's trying to teach. At least my interpretation of it. That's about as spoiler-free as I can go, without going into specifics. But th th that arc, that was like when, yeah, I was like, okay, there's the substance to this. It is, my lady. I would say give it, give it 12 episodes. If it doesn't completely, like, intrigue you, then, yeah, I mean, maybe it won't. That's the thing. I kind of base it, I take that 12 number from, like, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. The first 12 episodes, it just... And I, you. I get that they were there to build story, but it's just like... Why ever would you risk coming back? When I watched it the first time, it, it was, it was, uh, it's touch and go. I was like, okay, yeah, this is alright, it's nothing special. But then it got better, a lot better for me, so... I had to come back. I use that as a metric as like 12 episodes. Tell me, where is the patriarch? Should be enough to establish a world. And then it's like, do do they have your buy-in at that point? Giving thanks. 30 I know is a bit of an ass, but I'm saying like, at 30 I was convinced I'm going to watch more of this. At about 12, I was like, all right, yeah, I'll see where this goes. Like, this is this has gone past the point of, like, is this for me? At 12, you should know if it's for you or not. You must flee this place, gather your things, and go. Now listen here, Jill. We have company. <gasps> This way. Follow this passage. It leads straight to the Comric. Go on, stop dawdling. Thank you. You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. Hold on. Who is she? Hey, Sandy, how's it going? Born in the Grand Duchy of Rosario, Mali was kidnapped by the Iron Blood during the invasion 18 years before and taken back to the island of Drastanus, where she was forced to serve as handmaiden for the priests of the Crystalline Orthodox. There she met the young Jill Warwick and took her under her wing, caring for the terrified child as if she were the mother Jill never knew. Okay, there we go. Take my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me. You're good, good to hear. I'm um, just wrapping the evening up with a bit of this. It's like a movie, so just having some tea before, if you promise to do before calling it a day. Do I say good aim at it all? Not really. All right. Maybe, maybe like, thanks, mate, to like just, I guess, people I don't know. You know, it's just, it's just an Australian thing. It's just in the culture, but. Oh, 
Like, I consider myself Australian, but I'm not Australian Australian, if you know what I mean. It's like, yeah, colloquial terms. My usage is it's pretty scarce. Not bogan. Well, I mean, you can still use mate and all that, and not be a not be a bogan. Like I don't think because you use the word mate, it makes you bogan. What's a bogan? Uh, it's kind of like a redneck, but not really. It's that's the closest comparison I can draw. How many of them are there? Two. Get him. Like, they would be the ones that have the very nasally Australian accent. Just... Yeah, very grating voice. What's that? What was that? Was that attack? I didn't see what that was called. It was like a weird word. But, uh, yeah, I mean, in the time that you've been here, have you ever heard me, like, go really, really Australian, just unironically? Just as part of my normal way of talking. The only times I do it is just for comedic effect. It's not that I, I actually speak that way. I think the, mo the most Australian I get is the yeah, nah, or nah, yeah. That's the most Australian thing I use, for sure. Or like if I, if uh, if something is really annoying, I drop the C bomb. <laughs> it's probably the most Australian thing I do. I've also been told that uh, Australians, the way they say no, it's like no. That that's just, I guess it's 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 different. But I I I admit that I have that. So see, I don't even know how 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 that even the spelling of that comes out to how I'm sounding. Try it. I'd rather not. Clive, there's something I need you to know. I saw the Patriarch do things no one should have to see. And so I swore that he would die by my hand. I understand. 
I faced my demons, and you must face yours. I mean, look, you Americans have your your idiosyncrasies when it comes to speech as well. It's like if, if I tell you to say the name Carl, you'll say Coral. Almost like you're saying Coral. Coral. Carl. Coral. No, Carl. We all have our ways of talking. Or water. You know, it's different. You like the accent sounds cool. Thank you. Over here. I think honestly that just the whole accent and what you consider cool just comes from how often do you hear it? And if it's something you don't hear that often it probably sounds cool. But I, I guess my accent is just a mix of me having to learn Spanish first and then switching to English. Alright. Let's get rid of this cult. They worship this thing as a god. So you obviously know their priorities are in order when it comes to uh, war. Jeez. Yeah, this game just continues to... Uh, Go down the path of, uh, darkness. You would have never known that my first language was Francis. My English is excellent. It's... It's good. It's just, sometimes it does come out. Or, like, I'll struggle to pronounce something. Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness. Like, I have tripped over myself a couple times. For years, I followed your orders, fought your wars. All but I had to take classes. Took, just as you took me. And what did you do in return? To uh, try and correct the way I spoke as a kid. You put them in chains and you slit their throats. Jeez. Feet. <laughs> Their souls were sullied with a stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. A penance paid, just as the Holy Mother wills it. Repent, abomination, for a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymrich is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster, and my soul is stained black. 
No, not by either. But by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more. Nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bare its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage, be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. Kill them. No retort, just kill them. Oh shit, she's transformed. I don't think she's ever done that in a fight. What? Oh shit. What the hell is that thing? Man, arena. Uh, please, just one. She won't be able to hold that off back forever. Oh, we are not doing much damage here. <laughs> I may have to look into upgrading most of my stuff. I do find it funny that even after transforming, still using... Like, lightning... Oh, shit. Nope. Ah. Oh man, this is oh, this is not good damage. Yeah. <laughs> 
hopefully when it's staggered I'll do a lot of damage. Right, that wasn't too bad. Uh You doggo for the heal, <laughs> honestly. I think if it wasn't for that, I would lose so many more fights. It's gonna take a while. I bet you there's a phase two to this. Oh shit. No. Get him. Nice try. Okay, come on. There it is. a lot of hell. 11th hour, that sounds desperate. Oh my god. <laughs> that sounds desperate, that attack. Thank you. Jeez, that one. For oh no. Oh, shit. <laughs> How was I supposed to avoid that one? Tougher than I thought it was. What is. Yeah. Alright, they don't explain what this thing is yet. Oof. Is she sick too? Oh no, she's. She's doing what Sid was doing. I'm going to finish this, Clive. Uh, 
<coughs> oh, shit. Are they just gonna reveal that she has, like, a patch of white skin? <coughs> like, this whole time... Why didn't she do this sooner? <laughs> could have been so many fights where I could have had an ice sword. Another crystal gun. Are you watching, Sid? You're one step closer to freedom. The crystal. What did you do to it? We shattered it. Oh, we destroyed it. What? What? Monster! Do you have any idea what you have done? I do, father. They want you to go on the phone and put a phone in his body to pretend you don't see the email. I mean... And become an outlaw. It's up to you. May the blessing of... Jeez, she just, uh... Man. It's over. It is. And Shiva accepted her prize. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. What's wrong, Dugger? Yeah, but she's coughing, like... Clive, look! Just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Painting. Damn it. We need to leave. Agreed. So cool. Oh, I kept my promise, and now you keep yours. Very visually cool. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Oh, no. Is this going to go in a direction where, like, the thing he absorbed is going to take control of his body? Oh, 
<laughs> and this is going to lead down our like. You're bleeding. I have a tonic which will. Uh, I thank you for your kindness, truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please, save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. So, I, so it's not him that appeared. I felt my brother's presence. You did. I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. Oh, he has like a mark on his oh, chest. After five years of silence. I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your grace. That's the thing that he sealed in his chest. Or his heart, I guess. The thing that was trying to take over Clive. Look at them all. I got the feeling it's gonna consume him. Flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary. While others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek in the Dominion, Your Grace? Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles Dion the Bold. Prince of Dragoons, Odin's nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him Ooh. once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then, and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss. And a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sandbrek included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is, this truth will not have escaped his notice. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers, and the azure sky begins to bruise. Not sure what he's holding, though. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals. <laughs> and yet how spoiled. Like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Darmekian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. What's he drinking? I guess stuff that... I mean, I did say, like, she makes things for him. To feel better. Still should probably be concerned about that thing that's in his chest that seems to be growing in size. Mm. 
Meanwhile... Army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on Lane Night. Rather <laughs> Jeez. Back to the capital. Holy shit. As impotent as a eunuch on Lane Night. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. Damn. Oh, look, it's Thanos. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Baham. I mean, the, the guy's got rings. <laughs> To its foundation. This is reminding me of the damn gauntlet. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. Uh, uh, if our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. <sighs> like, I could take a screenshot of him right now and just color him purple, and it would be Thanos. Oh no. Is that the Empress? She had another child. It's uh stepbrother. What is the meaning of this, Lord Kuka? What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. Is this implying that these two hooked up? ...of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts. Or maybe not. not. You would accept my invitation. I'm surprised she doesn't look older. I mean, it's been Such like 20 years. News. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress, your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman no mind. by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbrek in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty.
and all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> yes, and inbreds as well. <laughs> what are we talking about here? There are great oh, that is fucking creepy. That's a nope. My darling Olivier, soon enough... You shall be the crown prince. Of that is, uh, that's a big nope right there. And when your father goes to meet Great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. Yeah, ew, exactly. That's like, uh, that's a big nope. And you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. The kid's creepy. Confirmed. She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Yeah, that's uh, an Oedipus complex just waiting to happen. <laughs> like, oh, that, that shit's creepy, man. I mean, look, love your kids by all means, but that right there is like too much. I'm hearing, Sid. Just that, like, very infantile behavior when the kid's clearly, like, what, eight? Maybe older? Our man and Delamore mentioned the cook is gone. I've done what I can. But the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Oh no. Stood. And thank you. Well, I mean, no obvious patches. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. Never mind. Uh oh. Shit. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. Man, he's gonna lose everyone, isn't he? he? Have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Yeah, I mean, this this is why, this is why I kind of believe that it's just not going to end well in that regard. It's just, it's kind of setting it up to just be like, that's going to be the last thing she does with him. Was areas under attack? What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. 
Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've We're about to get Earth powers. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. All right, I got points. I mean, there's so many abilities, I feel like I'm just never going to rank everything up. That's still ages away. I don't know which one to go. I mean, that attack was useful, I will admit. I think, hang on, what was it? Uppercut. Not that one. Yeah, that one. That's a good finisher. Alright, it's fully upgraded. Okay. Time to save. And this is where I have to leave it. It's it's late. And yeah, I think it was a good solid amount of time on story. Alright, well, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for uh, sticking around to the end. Hope you have been enjoying this so far. I know I have. It's, it's been a good story. So yeah, we'll see more of it soon. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to support the channel, just remember button clicking for algorithm purposes. Or maybe there's two videos on your screen if you want to watch me play other stuff. So, hope you do. Alright, till next time.